Right. When did you have the idea? Was like during filming? Or right. Like series? Or yeah. Was it this kind of I mean, I was lucky enough to get something on the series, which is incredibly rare, which is the chance to write an ending, a happy ending, right? Like, and I was, I, that's so rare, right? Because you're always chasing that renewal. So that was more intimidating than anything, to be honest. And like, what a conundrum to be like, well, I kind of already gave them the fairy tale ending, and now I got to <laughs> shake it up. But you know, once I kind of reckoned with the fact that it had been a couple of years, I was like, well, we should tell that story about getting older and maturing and what happens after happily ever after and how there's different ways to be happy and look that's not a story that we tell that often so that kind of clicked together and I think that really helped for all of us with the cast to be like let's just be who we are now and tell that story so thank you what was it like for you going from writing for cable yeah. to writing for a streaming service where there's a lot more freedom? And a lot I more mean, Fox yeah, I know so many Fox. The Fox had been released, the box of Fox, I've finally. Yes, I've been waiting for it, all my Fox. Uh, but uh, I mean, Tubi was so great, right? They were really, honestly, like, there's nothing you can't do. Like, the list is like very minimal. And I pushed it, just so you all know. Um, I mean, I will be honest, I've always felt fa fairly supported on Earth to tell the stories I wanted. We've told queer storylines, we've told feminist storylines, we've really told storylines, uh, you know, that I feel like maybe other networks would balk at, but, but by the time everyone figured out we were doing it, it was too late, we did it, baby. Um, but Tubi has been so supportive, they were so excited, I think they really didn't know what the fandom would be like and they I know buckle up right but they've been so delighted like we all know in this time of fragmented television like how hard it is to get loyal audiences for people to show up to kind of fall in love with something so it was great it's been such a positive experience so let's do it again <laughs> that's a binding contract that's a binding contract yes how about how about Winona Tahiti? Can we, uh, I'm just saying, I don't mind the sexy, sexy winter, guys, but let's manifest that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say, oh, sorry, please go no, ahead, though. Say, uh, more stories. Yes, more stories tons, about. tons. And I will say, like, yeah, and the more I dug down, the more I was like, oh, my God, there's so much more to unpack here. There's so much more new road to, like, kind of ride, so to speak. Um, but especially, I would say, it's definitely a satisfying story, what we've done with Vengeance. And the most important thing is that if you are a hardcore fan, there's so many Easter eggs for you, so many fun cameos, so many jokes, inside jokes. But also, Tubi really wanted us to make sure that we were going to reach a new audience. You do not need to know, you know, have a map of the mythology to just show up. You're like, that girl's sexy. She's a demon hunter, and off we go. It's going to be a fun ride. So I feel like we really um, walked that tightrope really well. But. It is a satisfying story with a good ending, but in typically Emily Anders style, yes, you're going to want more. I'm going to hear about it on social media, but, and we're going to exploit that. Yeah, 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 to get you more. Yeah. So that makes sense too, because I, I interviewed back, you back in 2017. Oh, we look so good. We look even better than we did then. Amazing. Yes. Thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. 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 Forever. I really feel like. Mm. Oh, I can't believe you remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I have always said, I think, for all the love stories, and we've done some really good ones on the show, the sisters is the true love story. And I think these people who maybe grew up with a dysfunctional family, maybe some borderline abuse or what have you, rediscovering each other as adults and, you know, following those themes, which is one of my favorite themes to write about, which is you do not have to be who society or your family or a small town tells you you are. You can always become who you are meant to be. I get choked out, but like that to me is the sisters. You've seen it through Waverly's journey, through Winona's journey, that they have grown into the people they want to be and choose to be, and they accept one another. So yes, it doesn't mean there's not going to be conflict, though. I don't know if any of y'all have sisters, but it happens sometimes. Yes. Yeah, oh my God. Well, please, after this interview, I'm going to need to pick your brain from the more stories, but. But again, like, not to toot our own home horn, but one thing about Winona, I think we did, which I love too, which we told stories that weren't always told, like pregnancy, feminism, stuff like that. So now we have, like, 
people getting a little bit older, these superheroes basically getting a little bit older and a little more mature and making different decisions, still looking very hot. If you've seen them, they're doing just fine. But I would love to tell that story, you know what I mean? If you give me Wine on Herb Golden Girls Edition, I'll sign up, guys, please. It'll be fine. No, and that speaks to the importance to telling stories that are after. I feel like yes. it's happening after. Because yes. we see, okay, we get together, we kiss, we go back, yeah. we don't see afterwards. Yeah. And you watch TV, that that's what you think happens. I know. Life. What happens when the cat bursts in the middle of the night and you haven't paid the mortgage and you got to deal with taxes or a sick parent? And I mean, I still think, too, there can be romance in those moments, right? And like... My father always told me this, like it's not kind of the good moments, it's the tough moments where you come together and you figure out how you're going to be a couple and what that's going to look like. So look, there's still lots of sexiness in the show, I promise. These people are all very hot for each other, but I'm very interested in that, in the romance and maybe giving permission for people you love to change. I think that that's a really interesting theme as well. Old storytelling, yeah. yeah. It's hard. It, that, yeah, that was that's such a great question, and I think that's one of the challenges because you need conflict in story, right? You do. Like you, people think they want a hot sitting on the couch twenty four seven. Actually, you don't. All the tough times are going to make the good times sweeter, right? So I did have to kind of push myself to make sure that these were conflicts or arguments or fights or what have you, or obstacles that we hadn't seen before. But just by virtue of the fact that these characters did share such a rich history, knew each other well, but also had maybe been apart for a while now, right? Like maybe Purgatory that Winona and Doc are coming back to is not the Purgatory she left. Way Hot have been kind of being domestic. And what does that look like? And is everybody happy at home at where their lives are? I think there's lots of very real grown-up problems we could talk about and challenges but at the same time we got demons sexy demons baby coming in so that's always fun too but yeah. I think we did well you guys will have to tell me what you think yeah they're not paying attention you can go yeah 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 I don't know about shock but we have a very fun villain for the special they are phenomenal they are first of all they have incredible hair which Winona is very threatened by but also I think maybe someone that Winona doesn't see coming something that a little bit maybe touches on who she used to be versus who she is now and really challenges I would say her idea of how she sees herself now as a hero which is very fresh so Plus, she's a badass, so look out. Yeah. Yeah. So when the series ended and they were talking about spirit and nature, I know asked about making a little star. Oh, the Alice question. Yes. Well, TBD. But we're very aware that this is a huge part of Dr. Winona's journey, right? All of this being said, I'm always careful to say I'm very proud of the decision they made to give up the baby, just because I don't think that's a story you see that often, that Winona was not ready to be a mother. That was She loved this child so much that she knew that it had to be raised by someone else. I still think when you're a demon hunter, it's hard to, you know, uh, raise a kid. But I would say there may be, there may be some Alice shadings in the special. We shall see. We certainly haven't forgotten about that little one. How about that? How old is she You'll have to see. <laughs> she could be 500. She could be two. <laughs> no. You'll have to see.